Shalom. All praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakarkadash. This article that I came across. Three states banned slavery on Tuesday. One voted to keep it. Which led me to the 2 Corinthians 4. And the point is in 4. Because this world is out of order. Therefore, since Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, has given, in his mercy, has given us this new way, Salakia, since Yahweh Shai, in his mercy, has given us this new way, we, Israel, so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans, Salakia, we never give up. We reject all shameful deeds and underhanded methods because the circumcision of the brain, which is the heart, circumcision of the mind, reinventing the mind with the laws of heaven, not the laws of this current world, but the world to come, which is next. Lots of um, subjects that corroborate this point, but um, I'm going to stick to 4 and 4 of Second Corinthians. We reject all shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We don't try to trick anyone or distort the word of God. We tell the truth before God and all who are honest know this, okay? And the, uh, because of the, because of the truth, because of the, um, the word, because of the law, because of the tutelage of the truth and the law. The new way, the new way, we never give up. Okay? The values, the high values are the laws of the Most High. You know, we live in a world where you, we could come across a high earner, but high value comes from the laws and the light and the natural order of Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? We don't try to trick anyone or distort the word of God. We tell the truth. We, the Israelites, tell the truth before God. And all who are honest know this. Okay? If the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil. It is hidden only from people who are perishing. There are vessels created to live forever and there are vessels to be destroyed. It is hidden only from people who are perishing. Here goes the point. Satan who is the God of this world. He's a lesser God um, and has blinded the minds of those who don't believe, okay? The world currently with Christianity, the teachings, the doctrine of religion, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe the truth. And religions do not teach the true gospel, the true teachings of heaven. Instead, they teach white supremacy, which leads us to 
three states banned slavery on Tuesday. The current world we live in enslaved the children of the Bible. Christians are not being killed in the Bible. Christians are not being enslaved, or let me, let me rephrase that. European Christians, so-called white Christians, are not being enslaved throughout the Bible. It's not story after story about so-called white people being enslaved by other nations of people. The people of the Bible that are being enslaved are the so-called Latinos, Native Americans, and Negroes of today, modern day, that just went through the transatlantic slave trade and the, um, the chattel slavery here in America. Okay, so three states banned slavery on Tuesday. One voted to keep it. Nearly 160 years after the Emancipation Proclamation, that order or the order that freed slaves in states rebelling against the Union during the Civil War. This is factual history about so-called white people enslaving so-called black people. So-called blacks are proven by biblical evidence to be Israelites, chosen people of the Most High. God. Satan is currently in rulership and his thousand years of ruling is coming to an end. We're witnessing in 2022 the downfall, the collapse of the ruling class that has been ruling for over 500 years. And the God that the so-called whites worship is Satan. Satan and his democracy and his governments and his religions blinded the people of the world. Okay? The order that freed slaves in states rebelling against the Union during the Civil War, Louisiana voters rejected a constitutional amendment that would have abolished the use of involuntary labor as a form of punishment. So Louisiana was a huge slave state, lots of lynchings. And in 2022, Louisiana disagreed with slave labor as a form of punishment. Similar amendments were proposed in four other states, passed, passing in Alabama Tennessee and Vermont and with results still too close to call in Oregon. Okay? Breaking news on Fox 13, Memphis. Slavery has officially been banned as punishment in Tennessee. I've driven through some of these states that disagree and when I saw prisoners, they were in thick white and black classical inmate dress codes and they had chains on their ankles connecting themselves to each other and they were doing like um, community service almost free labor on the sides of the highways picking up trash stuff like that The ballot measures address a caveat in the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, which abolished slavery and involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted. The loophole was exploited by many former slaveholding states, including Louisiana, to criminalize newly free former slaves and create involuntary held workforces during Reconstruction. Louisiana has long been home to the Louisiana State Penitentiary, a sprawling prison farm nicknamed Angola. Malcolm 
Alexander, a former inmate who was wrongfully convicted and incarcerated for almost four decades and exonerated in 2018, described working at Angola as something like you see in old pictures of slavery. We even had a quota we had to meet at the end of the day. Before Tuesday's midterms, only four other states had barred slavery as a form of punishment. Colorado, Rhode Island, and as of 2020, Nebraska and Utah. It is time for all Americans to come together. And Israelites are not Americans, so there will be no coming together. And they say that it must be struck from the U.S. Constitution. The gods of this world created a constitution. They, there should be no exceptions to a ban on slavery. The vote this week are a major step in establishing labor rights for incarcerated people. Incarcerated workers are under the complete control of their employers. Their employers, right? And they have been stripped of even the most minimal protections against labor exploitation and abuse, reads an ACLU report. Published in June, the ACLU has advocated for a total repeal of federal and state constitutional exceptions clauses, allowing slavery and involuntary servitude to be used as punishment for a criminal conviction. Okay? So... You decide, you decide, slavery banned, right? 2022, right? Still fighting to ban slavery. Slavery of who? Slavery of the Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High, okay? We're going to go to that. Um, Deuteronomy, okay? 28 28 and 68 and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And this is a so-called America. We were brought to America by way of ships. By the way that whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, in so-called America, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Your enemies, because we were considered foreign to these so-called whites. And they raped, robbed our people. We should never forget that. And we should not allow the world to forget that. Raped, robbed, and murdered. Okay. Pillaged, right? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. Okay. So this whole slave man and slave woman thing is still going on in modern day so-called America. Okay. All right. Verse four and four. Satan. Okay. Who is the God of this world has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. Okay. Okay. And Satan is the God of this current world. The the God that religion worships, the God that the governments follow, is Satan. Who else would do such a thing to a people and continue to do such a thing to a people today? You see, we all see what they're doing to Kyrie. We need a a black, I don't know, so-called NAACP, but... That's not what the NAACP stands for, but we need a group that protects us against the defamation of our history. Okay, we're not Hamites. Okay, we are not Africans. Okay, and 
if we really want to go into who those people are over there, okay, we can go over here, okay? The descendants of Japheth, okay? In Genesis 10 and 2, the descendants of Japheth, the descendants of Japheth were Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tyrus. The descendants of Gomer were Ashkenaz, okay? Ashkenaz, okay? Ashkenaz, Ashkenazi, okay? So these are the descendants of Japheth, not Shem, okay? The Ashkenazis come from Shem, or Salaki come from Japheth, not Shem, okay? The Bible proves who the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are, and they're so-called, um, and the small hats are the descendants of Japheth, Gomer, okay? That's who they are. This is according to Torah, all right? So the current gods of this world, okay, the current God of this world is Satan and the people of the ruling class people of this world follow Satan. Satan, who is the God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. What is there to believe? Because if you already believe in what religion is pushing, then there is no need to believe in what the Most High is teaching his men and the people of the elect, okay? So that's why I say the religions don't need the Bible because the Bible teaches the truth and religion is what conquered um, the people, okay? So with that said, I hope you can read between, you know, the lines without this video being flagged the God of this world, who is Satan, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. What is there to believe? Not what's being taught already, because when Yahweh Shah, who the world calls Jesus, was on the scene, he had the same problem with these religions. The world today, the people today, the ruling class in, histor in historical times, killed who the world calls Jesus. So who, you know, Jesus couldn't have been a Christian. He didn't celebrate Christmas. He didn't celebrate things, thanks killing. He didn't do, he didn't celebrate the things that these, you know, the ruling classes of the world today celebrate. So with that said, I want to Give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And hopefully this lesson has been edifying to the elect and to those who are renewing their minds and realize that you are an Israelite and the world we currently live in is ruled by Satan and it's out of order, the energy is off, and that's the, the reason why, is because Satan and his ruling class of people today have blinded the minds of those who don't believe, okay? So, 